Hi everyone, Dorota Palicka International, new artist and educator here and today we are gonna be playing with some beautiful opal nails. They look absolutely amazing and they are very easy to achieve. So have a preview of them here. And remember guys, if this is your first video, hit the subscribe button as there is over 1000 tutorials on this channel when I provide a free education for every nail technician for beginners and a little bit more advanced nail art so everyone will find something very useful and to you guys which are supporting us for such a long time thank you thank you so much so let's start they so pretty opal nails like absolutely amazing and I think I will do a full range of different kind of stones uh, because that always looks awesome on the nails. So first of all, what you want to do with this on the client nail, uh, you would just finish them and file them nice and then grab some colors like, um, to be honest, just grab some kind of bright color. So I'm slapping 277. Just a spot in there, spot in there, spot in there. Oops. <laughs> and then we could add also maybe some yellow, 240. Again, just here and there and there. Yes, this yellow, actually, I want that yellow, definitely. We can do some blue, 237. Absolutely amazing colors. And then let's do some purple, 274. Like all sorts of different colors because the opal uh, have those... Uh, different uh, colors coming through it and then I will get some maybe bright pink another one 269 that's like a purple okay perfect plus I've got lots of different colors left over on my sponges so I'm just picking up a sponge which I've gotten here you could cut out fresh ones I just don't like to waste the uh, product so and just start tapping it in. So I'm tapping the darker colors first because I've got pink and purple here. So pink and purple. Oh, that's so pretty. Then let's grab another sponge, which is this one. This one has all sorts of different colors in here. So just tap it in. And then go on the other side because I've got this yellow here and orange. Kind of tie-dye first um, design. And then I'm going to slap a tiny bit more of those pink and purple. So I've got sponge with the pink. And just touch it up some places. And a purple and turquoise I've gotten here. There's hardly anything left on it, but that's just plenty. And then cure it. A really fun design to do it. Perfect. Okay, next step is we want to grab some... Um, chrome pigments and a high shine no wipe top coat got it here thank you Patrick <laughs> so high shine yes I did finally <laughs> let's cook it I actually get through quite a lot of top coat, guys. Um, I think this is what we use the most top coat for every single set. So let's cook this one. I'm not too fast, so normally I would make sure I do apply my top coat like really perfect for a chrome. Uh, this time I'm not too bothered because we will be adding so much 
uh, more of the other stuff. And I have tried the opal nails before and I didn't do those kind of colorful background and I think that's changed a lot. Now the chromes I've gotten here is angel chrome and aurora chrome. I'm gonna use them both because I think that will give me even better results. Uh, they both sparkle slightly different. So my first tip is ready and I'm just picking up a little bit of angel chrome and then I pick up the Aurora chrome, wrap everything well and put it on the side, do it same in here and then angel just so they're gonna shine through different colors Perfect. Those kind of stone nails are really popular again. Next step, we are gonna grab some Aurora flakes. And Aurora flakes are so nice and thin that we can use just a top coat to encapsulate them. So I've got some old top coats which I'm using for the glitters and I'm just picking up a tiny bit of those flakes. They are super easy to apply in. Then maybe let's do the blue ones. Just so we've got all sort of different colors going on in here. And we could do the purple ones or those orange ones are quite nice. <laughs> this is how I would do it basically on the client. Like they would just hold their hand and I would just keep slapping different things on their nails. <laughs> Um, look what I'm doing, I'm doing it more into the middle because I don't want to flood the cuticle area. Then pick up the top coat again. This one is really at the end because it's an old top coat. And I'm start smoothing out those flakes. Okay, that already looks quite nice. This one is really pretty too. Let's cook it. And this one is really nice too. And then let's cook it. Another thing which we want to encapsulate that's some um, glitters and I've got like that's actually a cut um, foil you can see it is like an iridescent foil if you've got it uh, what you could do it is you could uh, do it your own um, we also do I tend to post those stuff in the mystery gift boxes uh, for those of you who have got it like I do send you the full box of uh, different kind of cuts out so uh, you should have it guys and then we used to have this glitter in stock as well, so some of you might still have it. But if you don't, then just use the iridescent foil. So I'm just cutting a small pieces here and there. Okay, brilliant. That is plenty. Got them all stuck into my fingers. Let's grab the first one. I will just take the um, crystal gel and that's a great gel for the nail text. There we are. and then start encapsulating it. So what you want to do it is you want to just go and pick up on your brush all sort of different cuts out you have got. Look at this one, it's so pretty. Let's put more. Okay, and as you can see, it's something stick out. So I'm trying to kind of flatten them out and then let's cure it. Do it on those two as well. 
here on the branch I've got lots of leftover. Pick up another scoop. All those sm small cuts out I have done. Oh, this one is quite nice as well. No, do not. Uh, just a little bit. I'm very careful because normally I've got my kind of dirty pot for the glitters. I would. Uh, it would be really rare for me to use it on my fresh pot, just so it doesn't get contaminated too much. Okay, happy with this one. Let's cook it. Another scoop. I'm trying to take out those uh, those glitter particles from my gel. And then spread it nice. You could help yourself with the sponge, like I quite often I would use the gel sponges just to dab the things in and then they are not sticking out. Brilliant, let's cook this one. Now we need to encapsulate everything. So just grab the scoop and encapsulate everything. So I'm going over the entire needle now. Nice and thin layer. And then you can pick up a small scoop to build up your apex and also encapsulate the glitter further. And you can see it, what does the gel do is like it enlarge those glitter particles. They are just looking prettier and prettier. As you can see it, I'm not going too much to the sides. I don't want those bulkness on the sides of my needle. And then cure it. Pick up a small scoop in here. A larger scoop just to build up your apex. Again, more into the middle part. Wow, that looks so much nicer. I hope the camera can actually show all those different colors going through. Good. Okay, I check how smooth it is. And this clear gel is a little bit thicker in consistency. Um, but I wanted to get those thickness uh, just so the um, gel could enlarge the glitter particles. We are going to cure it and then buff it. Okay, grab it in and then let's shape it. I will also show you the um, tips how to shape it, um, those kind of needles. So remove the inhibition layer. And when you would work on the client, what you want to do is like make sure the sides are nice and even because even if you look at this needle here now, you can see it, it doesn't look too bad from the top, but you've got some bulkage on the side. So when I'm filing, I would always start filing the side and you keep the file nice and straight to get rid of the bulkage on that side. Then bring it at higher up and you can see it we have already made it much nicer looking. Okay, do the same in here. I mean, obviously filing on the tip is much more difficult, but I really wanted to show you this design. So bring it this higher up and you can see it, it's already look much better. Sort out the free edge. So this is my kind of filing routine. I always do it this way. Then you would blend everything around the cuticle area, making sure the things are nice and smooth. So all the way and then after you have done that I will just file the entire nail and this is the best movement because you tend to file only on the places which actually really need to get touched. 
when I started doing the nails, I was all over the place. So I would file it like here, I would file there like this and there, different angles of the hand, different file movements. And uh, quite often I would just make the things worse instead of better. Um, so filing this way gives me a really good contact um, of the file with the nail and you can really smooth it out uh, things nice. So keep filing. And in general, I think I would still describe this set as really, really fast one because um, you don't have to apply the gel polish. Uh, you're just kind of doing the structure at the same time when you're doing the design. Uh, so I would say that this is a really fast cell nail and we could probably do it like, I don't know, I could probably do it in 45 minutes on a client. Um, usually my glitter encapsulations are really, really fast to achieve. Okay, the next step is to take a buffer and just repeat the entire movement and go like nice and smooth. Obviously the longer you go on, um, the nicer results you will get. Oh, the joys of filing on the tip holder. That's nice, that's enough, it's fine. So we are gonna go and move into the next step. So just clean everything. I just done it on those two nails as well. Actually, it's not enough. I need to touch up this one because it just stand out so badly on the other ones. Bring that higher up, just so it's nicer shape. And then let's add some gold detail into that. That's better. So I'm gonna grab the transfer foil gel. I love them, I love them so much. And then the deliner brush. You don't want to put, put too much of it, just here and there, because the design itself is really, really nice. So I'm rolling my brush to kind of get it into the shape because it tends to split a little bit. And then just touching up some places with a few veins here and there. Cure it. Now, I had actually even a call asking about the uh, time of um, curing the gel for a foil. I would say, guys, test it yourself. Like, if I'm doing very thin lines, I would cure it even as little as 10 seconds. If I'm doing a full coverage nail, I would cure it um, about 30 seconds. So it's really depending on, like, what you want to achieve um, and what results you're going for. For the tester to make like three lines, every line's different thickness, and put for 30 seconds, and then you will know for how long you have Yes, to that's a good, this this way? good tip, Patrick. Yes, you can do like a few different tips with different thickness, like lines, and then test it which one takes better. <laughs> Absolutely. I used to actually do that like mm, as well, so now I know my kind of curing time depending on the thickness. So this one is ready as well. Uh, grab the gold transfer foil. And then we are going to transfer it. Such a pretty delicate, simple spring, summer, even a winter. Really universal, like all year round nails. Um, so let's transfer it. You can see it. I don't have to do much. The foil transfer really nice and that was after 10 seconds cure. Then this one. I've got some vein here as well. Don't overdo it, like I feel like when it's too heavy, it just doesn't look too nice. You want really nice little accents here and there. 
Oh no. Again, much easier design to do it actually on the client than it is on the display tips. And then I need to show you those final look because they will look absolutely amazing once we put the top coat over it. Look at this. I love it so much. And you can really see this is like so just pretty. It's very similar. I know it's very similar but I've got shells and mine are just um, encapsulated shells filed through. Um, but the opal needles, look at this, oh my goodness, this is so pretty, uh -huh. amazing, absolutely amazing. Wow, this looks like unreal opal. Gosh, I will be playing with them now, like checking them in different light angles. And another thing is like, I notice it, like, so my needles are shining through orange and yellow here and then they will go really pink and purple and um, old side and in a bathroom <laughs> um, so different places they will shine different and I believe this set will do exactly the same because we've got those aurora underneath and angel chrome as well wow so amazing Okay, let's cook them and then I can show you the full set. I actually, I really cannot wait uh, to do those uh, thumbnail picture for it because it will look unbelievably amazing. So this one is ready. That's a middle finger here. This one should be ready as well. And that's the ring finger. And then the index finger. Oh. Sorry, I just don't want to press them too, too much until the top coat cools down and until it's properly cured because I tend to under cure it a little bit when I'm doing videos for you. To don't keep you waiting for a cooking. Oh, come on. And as you can see, I'm full of cuts and everything because it's a gardening season now. <laughs> wow, they look amazing. I'm gonna zoom in because they sparkle different light. No, they look prettier. In the life they look pretty. Oh, that's a better angle. And the angle is nice. Do you think so? Yeah, I, I think so. like camera doesn't show how pretty they are. Oh, that's a good angle too. Yeah, I need to. And then from the distance, Sorry guys, I had to just show you them like from all the different angles because they are super pretty, much prettier than they actually uh, showing in the camera, which is a shame. But I hope you have really enjoyed this video. Let me know what other, other stones would you like to see and I can purchase them for you. Sending you huge glittery hugs and bye for now.